Good morning, everybody. Yes, it's Eugene Bear back on a Wednesday morning teaching. Uh, I just, this is take two. I went over 15 minutes and four or five seconds, and when there's more than a 50 50 chance, they, they won't transfer any teaching longer than 15 minutes. So here I am with my cold coffee. Coming at it a little bit different. I'll get to it quickly. And point is, you don't have to read Hebrew and Greek to find books written in English by Hebrew scholars and Greek scholars. That's where Rotherhams came in. He was a Hebrew scholar that translated the Old Testament, died before he completed the New Testament, but his colleagues completed the New Testament for him in Greek. And he was the one that brought back the name pronounced Yahweh, but a more correct way for the pronunciation of the name is the third letter is actually Vav Vav or Vet. So Yahvah, when written, is more correctly pronounced than Yahweh when verbally said. And I've heard Greek, uh, Hebrew scholars say it both ways, Yahvah and Yahweh. Yahvah, because of that third letter right there, Vav Vav or Vet, with a value of six in the Hebrew alphabet, I stick with the va sound. Yahovah or Yava with the V instead of a wa. There actually is no figure in the original 22 plus five figures in Hebrew. The original 22 figures, there's no figure for the sound W or wa sound. So I stick with the V, 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 or Vet, sixth letter of the Hebrew alphabet. 10, 5, 6, 5 for 26. Yod or Yah, uh, Hey, two Hays, two H's, two Fives. H was added to Abraham and Sarah's name for the favor, mercy, and grace of God in the Old Testament. Here we go with adoption in Greek. We have adoption, placing as a son. I'm not going to attempt to pronounce it. This is the pronunciation of the Greek word. The point is, the Greek word is two Greek words, a placing a son in English. That's why the red line here and the red line down here, a, pla a son, a placing, or a placing a son. And I'm getting at the point in Ephesians 1.5 to know if you have an accurately translated Bible, such as the Revised Standard 1952, that is the importance of it. There are many uh, New Age Bibles out there. The message NIV is not the best accurate translation. Many people are falling in a popular. NIV has become popular with Christendom. I'm not in Christendom. I'm not a Christian. I'm a Christ anointed believer from the first Gentile church that headquartered by 50 A.D. in Ephesus and started at 40 A.D. in Antioch of Assyria. There is an Antioch of Peseta in the middle of Turkey near Galatia. Galatia fell away to Gnosticism. All the churches in Asia or in the middle of Turkey fell away from Paul. They were embarrassed. Uh, uh, his chains, imprisonment, change, embarrassed them, and they fell away to mixture, to Christianity, to Gnosticism. I uh, put it all in a big golden bowl. It's all been written, or all scripture is of the Holy Spirit of truth, which is a true statement, but all scripture is not to us, the Gentiles. The most of the Old Testament is to the nation Israel, over half of Revelation is to the nation Israel. Israel is the bride. We are the placed saint sons or son saints because in Galatians 3.28, there's neither male nor female in the spirit. So therefore, a woman, a wife, a sister, an elder woman can be under a stewardship, sonship calling. It's a title of a group or a placing or a calling or an administration or a dispensation or a stewardship. Yes, I'm dispensational. I'm Pauline. I emphasize 
13 plus 1, the 14 letters of Paul, and I emphasize the last six written in the last six years of his life. Five minutes. All right, so I get this teaching from uh, the Young's Concordance. It's, it's all right here in English, how it's pronounced in Greek, and how it's written, and chapter and verse in English where you find it. And I want you to take white out. This is white out, and I prefer the brush over the little foam triangle because all five times in the New Testament you need to white out adoption. It is not the way we practice adoption when it was written 2,000 years ago plus by Paul or how they practiced adoption back there in Rome. Caesar, if his son was an idiot, could adopt Another man living five houses away down the block who is a very intelligent man at 55 or 65 years old, Caesar could adopt him and make him the next Caesar. That's how the Romans practiced adoption. We think of adoption as bringing a baby. Maybe the wife cannot carry a baby full term, so you adopt a baby into your family. But you're not adopted into the family of God. You're born of the Spirit. You must be spirit born to understand the spirit word. Or you can't see or enter the kingdom of God, Nicodemus, if you're not born of the spirit. Okay, so that's my point. So you can take these two. I paid $18 for this Young's. I found this one the other day in a thrift store for four bucks. And this is the 1970 version of the Strong's, the new one that I paid $20 for, $19, $18, 19 for. But you can get them out there new and find them old. Now, the piece of paper that I made, the teaching, the latest teaching, has got the Young's Concordance and how easily easy it is. You don't have a italicized, a two-number system to go to the back of the book and Strong's and you're going back and forth. It's all right there for you to read in four lines. Okay, now down here is the vines, a placing, a sun, a sun, a placing, and some additional writing. Here's the vines expository <coughs> Greek New Testament words, a Greek scholar that breaks it all down to English for you. All right, here's what you're looking for in a garage tale. This is a 1952 to 72. This is the older 52, maroon, yellow pages, because it's old, like me, I'm turning yellow. No. <laughs> this is the Bible you want, because in Ephesians 1.5, adoption's not there. It's correctly translated. It, <clears throat> if adoption is there in your Bible translation, you do not have the best translation. So you turn to Ephesians 1.5 with the white out. I white it out right there. Ephesians 5 usually reads, Having predestinated, there are people out there that have problem with predestination, says it conflicts with free will, and it doesn't. God can take from the same lump of clay and do what he wants, make a vessel of destruction. Pharaoh was a vessel of destruction so God can show his power in earth, on earth, okay? From the same lump of clay. Don't tell the potter what he can do or what he can't do. And that's where, I won't chase that rabbit. But eternal security. God can blot your name out of the book of life if he wants to. He says so in Revelation. So don't tell God what he can or cannot do. Don't say there's eternal security when there isn't. <laughs> All right. Having predestinated us, the Gentiles, unto, and I've written in, placing as a, a son saint mature, Placing as a saint son mature. Women can be saint sons because there's neither male nor female, Galatians 3.28, in the spirit. And the body that the Lord is the head of is a spirit body. If you want to put another title on it, it's a groom. Spirit body has nothing to do with male or female gender, a wife. Ephesians talks about a wife and children and family. It doesn't talk about a bride. And where it says her or she, in most translations, it's an it. Neither gender of male or female, it's spirit. All right? I read on. Placing as a son saint mature by Jesus, 
Jesus Christ, Lord, I added Lord, to him according to the good pleasure of his will. The will of God is that you understand the mystery, the gospel, the gospel, the mystery, 20 times the mystery in the New Testament, not 20 mysteries. Many times it's referring to the same mystery, but there is a mystery of iniquity, the mystery of godliness. Great is the mystery of godliness. Christ in you, the hope of glory. Do you know your hope? Colossians 1.27. I'm going fast, 10 minutes and 33 seconds, because I went over 15 minutes on take one. So we, remember, you're looking for this one at garage sales. Revised Standard, turn to the front of the Bible, and it will tell you that it is a 1952 copywritten, put out. I have Revised Standard New Testament version that's only two or three years. It's The book is almost as old as I am. I'm 74, and the book is like 71 years old. I don't have it handy right here to grab it for you. I'm a Christ-anointed believer teacher. I teach the Christ anointed church that headquartered in Ephesus by 50 AD started when Gentiles were in the believing assembly or body and it started in 40 AD at Antioch of Assyria and in 10 years moved to the east coast of Turkey in a city called Ephesus Asia Minor, where the seven churches in Revelation are, and it starts with mentioning Ephesus and ends with Lady Osea. And then you have Corinth and Apollos, and Paul gets to Rome, and Paul writes his last six letters, which I emphasize because I'm Pauline dispensational. You have ad stewardship. You have dispensation and administration and in reverse administration dispensation stewardships and we are to be good stewards first corinthians the fourth chapters of the mysteries plural i teach the name versus titles i teach the uh <laughs> i'm drawing a blank here at 12 minutes i looked at the clock and blanked out i teach the name i teach do you know christ can you teach Christ? Have you learned Christ? Can you teach Christ? I teach the mysteries and I teach your hope and calling. Colossians 127. This is B period Eugene Bear with a condensed take of take one. I hope I can transfer take one. If not, I'll be able to transfer take two at 12 minutes and 49 seconds. Are you Eugene Bear on Facebook? Friend in. I'll friend you in and B period Eugene Bear on YouTube. You can find over 300 teachings. Love you. Bye.